Yep, the RV's all mine. But what does it look like inside? Now that I'm starting to figure it out? I don't know. But why don't we find out together? Are you ready? Let's do this. Woo! AKA RV Jedi, and this is the first official tour of my new to me RV, my 2018 Winnebago Travato. Now, I scoured all over the United States trying to find the right rig for me. I actually had to end up going to Wichita uh, to pick it up. Shout out to the folks at Wichita RV, they hooked me up, in particular Mitch, uh, so thank you for that. Now I flew back to Wichita, picked up the RV, drove it across uh, country back to Seattle, but I really didn't get a chance to shake it out and uh, get a real feel for what the RV can do. And this is the first time uh, that I'm doing it. So I'm gonna give you a tour of the rig for now. It is messy because I am in the middle of my shakeout and trying to figure out where everything goes and how to run everything. But I think it's uh, I, I think it's still great to show you what this rig looks like to me. So come on, let's take a look. <music> So as you can tell right now, it's a little messy and that's just because I'm trying to find where everything needs to go. Uh, I used to have a class A, I put a lot of the stuff that I had in that in storage, uh, gave some stuff away already and probably gonna do a, a lot more with this particular rig. There is not a ton of storage here uh, in the Travato 59G. However, I think there's enough for me. I just have to figure out how to lay it all out. Now, the previous owners, they did some modifications, some things that I'm not so sure I'm gonna keep, but let me show you a couple of them. Okay, so the one thing they did was they put these stickers up here on the back. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna hold on to those. They did add a towel rack um, for paper towels. I like that, so I'll probably hold on to that. Now, the other thing they did was this. This normally is just hanging clothes, uh, but they put uh, shelving. And a lot of folks have put shelving in here before, uh, but they did a, a really good job. They built a whole shelf uh, and kind of inserted it there. Uh, the one thing I like about it is, yeah, there's some storage in there and I was not gonna use that for uh, clothing anyway. The only problem is this last shelf is a little tight. Uh, I can get some things in there, um, but I don't know if I'm gonna modify this or just leave it as is. Okay, let's talk about the bathroom. Now, I love the fact that there is a bathroom in here. Um, that was one of the things I really was looking for uh, in a potential new RV. Um, one of the things that everybody talks about is the drain here. Uh, they put this drain in here. I think uh, I have to switch that out, um, but I, I, I don't know yet. Uh, that's one thing. And then I just learned this uh, the other day. Uh, they did not leave the shower here. So there's a sink modification they did, uh, but no shower. And yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Uh, I do want a shower in here, so I'm gonna have to do a modification uh, to the sink and to the faucet uh, and put a shower back in here. Hopefully that's not too difficult, uh, but it's definitely something I'm gonna have to do. 
the back of the RV where the Murphy bed folds down uh, is fine. Uh, I am sleeping on a full-size mattress pad with um, uh, twin XL sheets. Uh, that's what I saw online in terms of what people had, uh, and it seems to be working perfectly. Here, um, this was missing. I didn't have a shade here, went to the Travato group and a big shout out to Joni uh, who uh, had an extra one uh, and sold it and shipped it to me uh, from North Carolina. So uh, Joni, thank you very much. Um, there are still some magnets that need to go on top of here. Um, there are some from another shade, but they don't really connect. I have some extra magnets. I gotta figure out the best way to connect it. Uh, but all in all, the bed area uh, seems to be really good. Now, under here, this is what a lot of folks call the basement. When the bed is down, you can still store a lot of stuff there. There are some cabinets there. Uh, I do have some things in there, but I've got to figure out again what really needs to go there uh, long term. So here's the TV. They did a modification adding on... Um, this arm that moves along and uh, that allows the TV to be viewed uh, from the bed, which will be really nice. Uh, but I'm having trouble right now trying to figure out how to get um, the Jensen DVD player to actually play on the screen. So I've been doing a lot of work on that today. I'm gonna probably spend some more time with that. Um, uh, that's a big thing for me. You know, being able to watch movies is really important to me. And so I've got to figure out how to make that work. Uh, I also picked up a Blu-ray DVD player uh, so that I can um, play my Blu-ray DVDs. I have a ton of those. We'll figure that out. But first, just have to figure out the basic uh, Jensen uh, situation. This is the pizza oven and it's good for storage. Uh, when I'm moving. Um, here are some custom shades that came with the RV and they normally store up uh, in the pizza oven area when I'm uh, driving. Uh, they've been very helpful. Uh, they do a good job kind of blocking out. There's some spaces kind of at the top over there and things like that where it's a little bit more difficult um, uh, to get in there. But for the most part, uh, I really like the shades. Again, custom for the RV and they feel good. Now the stove is propane. It's a two burner stove. Uh, it's been great to work with so far. Uh, I have to figure out how to shoot my uh, chefing it up segments in here. It's a little bit more difficult. And I do find that I end up using uh, my bed sometimes uh, as a little storage uh, while I'm cooking. Um, but, you know, I, chefing it up, eating good on the road is an important thing for me. So I'll figure out uh, how to show it off uh, and um, uh, cook some really great meals here. Now, this Dometic fridge is huge. Look at that, there's a freezer up here, which is nice. I have some ice there. Uh, I'm able to get a lot of stuff in here. Even though I have a water filter on the back and it's coming through and there's a water filter underneath um, uh, the sink, uh, I do carry some water in a water filter. So I filter that through, try to get it as much as possible. You have to really shut that and make sure it stays uh, tight, uh, but it's it's been good so far. One of the things that's really nice that I didn't realize when I uh, got my Travato is that uh, I have a spare tire. Uh, these don't normally come with the spare tire. It's nice that I have one. Uh, as you may remember, I lost um, my wheel cover uh, fairly soon. I think like the first day I was driving back. I've got another one coming, uh, but it's just, again, nice to have um, uh, a uh, spare tire with me. So this is another mod uh, that the previous owners did. It's nice, I can 
store all my hoses here uh, and keep everything here, my electrical panel stuff. Uh, they also made a mod with this. This is the outdoor shower. Let me see if I can open this. There you go. Uh, and so it has hot and cold. You just hook it up here. Um, and so I should be able to have an outside shower when I need it. Now, we talked a little bit about the basement and here's the other side of the basement. And you can see there's a lot of storage here. Um, and when I'm RVing, you know, I'm out camping and stuff, I don't really need to use that space so I can store a lot of things in here. Some of this stuff is gonna go back in storage and uh, maybe get donated, but um, I like having this ability to have some out or some indoor storage from the outside rear. Now I do have an awning, it's right there, it's automatic. Uh, it's a little windy, so I'm not gonna pull it out, uh, but I have opened it up and it's nice. Uh, it's gonna be great to have um, during the summer to kind of beat off some of the heat and some of the rays. So there you have it. That's the tour of my new to me RV, my 2018 Winnebago Travato 59G. Um, I am still in the process of really learning what it's all about, but I really like the feeling of what this RV can do for me. It is super easy to drive. I still have to learn where to put some things uh, in the RV, but that's, that's gonna come with time. Uh, I just really am enjoying uh, the RV and cannot wait to really get out there, explore, and guess what? You'll be coming with me. Hey, that's going to do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And then, of course, you can follow me on my website at RVJedi.com. Get out there, RV, explore. When you get a new rig, spend some time trying to figure it out. Because once you do, the world is your oyster. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.